welcome to another edition of Eric's Product Reviews brought to you by HollywoodFroto.com. I am Eric and today I'm going to be talking to you about this little guy. This is an awesome new gadget that I discovered. It is a fingerprint padlock. Basically it works the same as any other padlock in terms of uh, locking up your stuff and keeping it safe. It is weatherproof and waterproof so it can be used indoors or outdoors. But instead of having to remember a combination or fiddle with a uh, three digit number code and getting it to the right numbers. You just uh, use your fingers, uh, if I can see it there, and it unlocks just like that. And uh, with this one, uh, which is by a company called Tech Buds, uh, it will store up to 10 fingerprints. So you can uh, store all 10 of your fingers if you want, or you can store five of yours and five of your spouse's or someone else uh, if you want to do it that way. But you can store up to 10 fingerprints uh, inside here. Uh, really cool, has a lot of uh, great features that make it useful. It has a little LED light indicator here and that is used to indicate different things like charging or when the battery gets low it will flash red every 15 seconds and beep to let you know when the battery is getting low. Uh, it has a green and a blue LED indicator and those are used when setting it up to help you know what's going on. For example, when you unlock it, it always beeps and then flashes green to let you know that it's unlocked. Um, but those are also useful when you're setting it up and I'll talk a little bit more about that in just a minute. Uh, just some features of the lock itself. It is a very strong all metal lock, so very thick. So it's not something that can be easily broken or broken into. Um, it does have the micro USB charging port here on the side and that's what you plug in to charge it up. Now, I know what you're thinking right away. What happens if the battery runs dead? Then I can't unlock it. Oh no. Uh, but this has a decent uh, size battery inside of it. It will last, uh, the manufacturer says, on standby for two years. Not that I would ever personally risk that, uh, but about two years. And I think you can unlock it on one charge. So actually, you know, use the unlock feature to unlock it 2,500 times or something around there, 2,500 times. So if you unlocked it, you know, three times a day, every day, I mean, that's more than a year. Um, like I said, I uh, don't have that much faith in anything. So I, I just am paranoid about that kind of stuff. So I'm not gonna go that long without charging it. I use it every day at the gym and I charge it about once a month. But you don't have to do that. Uh, you can, uh, if you're using outside to lock something that you don't use that often, then you might just wanna charge it up like once every six months just to be safe. But like I said, they say that you could go uh, a year without charging it if you're not using it constantly. Uh, and it does have that low battery warning indicator. So if the battery gets low, it's gonna let you know, hey, you need to charge it. Now let's say the battery did die, just for example, let's say you had this outside on something you almost never use and you totally forgot about it and you go a year and a half from now to unlock it and the battery's dead, that's okay. You can still charge it back up. You can use a portable battery charger just like you would to charge a phone on the go and plug that in there and as soon as it, you know, five minutes later when it's gotten a charge, then you'd be able to unplug it. It's still gonna remember your fingerprints. Uh, even if the battery goes completely dead, it doesn't forget the fingerprints. Um, and actually when you get this uh, out of the box, when it hasn't been programmed uh, with specific fingerprints, any fingerprint will unlock it. Uh, so then you set it up with fingerprints. Uh, now one thing that I think has been a little confusing for some people who've bought this, uh, just reading a couple of uh, reviews on Amazon, uh, is knowing how to set it up correctly. Uh, there are instructions in the box. I got two sets of instructions. I got a little booklet instructions, and then I got this piece of paper that told you how to do the initial setup. Honestly, for me, I read them both, but the booklet gave the more specific instructions, but you do have to uh, read them uh, carefully and follow them closely. And so the first two fingerprints you set up are gonna be your admin fingerprints. That's important to know. And then all the other ones will be just fingerprints. The admin fingerprints are important because you've got to put in the admin fingerprint before you can add additional fingerprints. And uh, basically, uh, there's a very simple method to that. So let's jump over to a quick video where I can show you how that works. So I long press with the admin finger, and then I tap with the admin finger, and you see the green light flashing, that means it's ready for a new finger. 
So then just go different angles ten times and that's what it does. I mean it's recorded. So now it's recorded that finger and that finger will unlock it. Uh, so you see, once you know how to do it, it's very easy. Uh, you're just setting up the admin and you push it for three seconds to start the process. Then you touch it with the admin finger to confirm that you want to add a new fingerprint. Then you touch it with the new fingerprint you want to add ten times to get all uh, si uh, sides of your fingerprint, all possible options. And that's how you set it up. Now, in practical use, as far as how this works, I do want to let you know. I would say only once out of maybe every 10 times does it unlock the very first time I touch it. Usually it takes two touches, uh, two to three, uh, but it always unlocks within two to three. So let's see right now, I'm going to touch it once, oh, there you go. See that time you did it the first time. And that does happen about once out of every 10 times I would say. But then other times I'll touch it and uh, well, now it's going to work every time, so it's going to make a liar out of me. But I just want you to know that sometimes it doesn't work the first time. But if it doesn't work the first time, then it will work the second or third time. See, now there I didn't, I kind of touched it in the corner. I didn't touch it in the center right, so it didn't work the first time. But I touched it the second time, and it unlocks immediately. So even if it doesn't unlock the first with the first touch, which as you see, a lot of times it will. But if it doesn't, it'll lock I've never had to touch it more than three times, and I think a lot of that is just because, you know, your finger tends to go a little off to the side or something, um, but uh, within three touches, every time, consistently, any of the fingers I've programmed, I even program my pinky finger, any of the fingers that touched it, but if I touch it with a finger I haven't programmed, although I've programmed all of mine now, or uh, my spouse touches it, uh, then it doesn't unlock. So it will only unlock with the fingerprints that are programmed into it. Now you can reset it. Uh, once you've programmed fingerprints, there is a way to erase all those and start over with new fingerprints if you want to, just so you know. Uh, and there's instructions in the instruction booklet. But it works great. I love it. So much faster and more convenient uh, at the gym for me than trying to use the old padlock I was using where sometimes I couldn't read the numbers right and I thought I had it right and then it wouldn't unlock and uh, the lighting wasn't good or you know, just my eyes aren't as good as they used to be. So with this, I don't have to worry about that. I just walk in, put my fingerprint, unlocked. It's great. It's awesome. I love it. I think it's a great, great uh, product. Again, it's by a company called TechBuds, and it is available on Amazon. I will have a link in the description below. You can click that link, jump over to Amazon, and uh, check it out for yourself. Anyway, that's going to be it for this review. If you like this review, please click that like button. If you know anyone who might be interested in this product, then please share this video with them. And you can do that on uh, Facebook or Gmail or any of those ways. They're all down there. Just click the right button. Don't forget to favorite this playlist if you want to keep up with future product reviews. Uh, or subscribe to my channel, which is even better, because then you'll get notified when I uh, upload any new video, regardless of which playlist it's in. Anyway, that is going to be it until next time, so have a great day.